They call it Denim Town. On every street, in every alley in Shintang, they're making jeans. Cheap and mass-produced. If you wear a pair, there's a one in three chance it was made here. It's how China has captured chunks of the global economy and created jobs for millions. But like all of China, this town's facing problems. Slowing demand overseas, rising costs at home. Smaller factories line the riverbanks. Doing things cheaply has come at a cost for China. The water here is tainted. A disgusting, fetid cocktail. Locals say it's too polluted to use. All along the river are denim factories. The polluted water from those places really smells. China's next generation of leaders are about to take power here. In just a few weeks, they face two problems. How to keep the economy growing, but also tackle rising discontent at the damage that's been done to the environment. In Shifang, a few weeks ago, riot police battled crowds. They were furious about plans for a copper factory here. People feared its waste would damage their health. For years, delivering economic growth has been the way China's communist rulers have kept a lid on discontent. Now, growth is causing unrest. The billion-pound project would have brought many jobs, but it wasn't wanted. Of course, health is more important than jobs. It matters for our children. If we are sick, how can we keep supporting them? So China's next leaders are inheriting a toxic legacy. They have plans for cleaner growth, but that will be slower, more expensive. Cao Zhenggang passes the nearby chromium factory every day. The waste stains the ground yellow. Chinese call these places cancer villages. There are dozens of them where cancer rates have soared. The reason's not clear. His mother is 47. Three weeks ago, doctors told him she has liver cancer and fewer than five months left to live. He's convinced the factories are to blame. His family paying the price for unrestrained growth. It's really depressing living here. Every day the factories make choking smoke. We know they cause cancer, but no one takes responsibility for the sick or the dead. He hasn't told his mother she has cancer. Knowing would be too much for her to take, he says. And he adds he has no faith China's government will undo the damage done by years of dirty growth. Daily Dramaticus, BBC News, Xinglong in southern China.